what is going on guys so I'm gonna show you something pretty cool today um, so this is just something I'm testing out with uh, my company so we have a bunch of you know different client work that we're deploying you know across all of our you know different um, client channels and whatnot so we use we use monday.com right as our main project management software I'm just gonna disable a couple of these here just to protect some sensitive info but uh, yeah, essentially, <clears throat> what we're going to do today is we're going to go over how to u utilize AI within your project management solution um, such that AI does your job for you. So, you know, you're not you don't really have to do your job anymore because, uh, you know, the AI will take care of that for you. So let's talk about how that works. So, for example, let's just say I have this board. I just created this board. I'm going to share it with my team now. We're going to start leveraging this very shortly. But essentially... If I come in here and I say, okay, look, uh, write me a, let's just say I'm running uh, an ad campaign, particularly for a restaurant, right? So be like, write me an adver a Facebook advertisement, okay, for a fried chicken restaurant uh, focusing on the price being cheaper okay so that's the overall offer i'm making for my ads i click enter in my as a new item to do in my project board and then i just click on status send to chat gbt um, and then once i do that then the api is going to flip it over to the prompt over to uh, you know open ai and then that's going to you know come back uh to our uh monday.com account on the, in this board specifically um, with the actual response. Okay. So I said, write me a Facebook advertisement, uh, for a fried chicken restaurant, focusing on the price being cheaper. Um, it says, are you looking for delicious fried chicken at a great price? Look no further. Our fried chicken is juicy, flavorful, affordable. Stop by today for a meal that won't break the bank. Okay. Focuses on the price. I could say, you know, write me a short children's book on being happy right send chat gbt wait like four seconds not even um and essentially just open back that item back up once you're ready and then the prompt will appear here once it's available boom it just jumped in here's a short children's book within seconds and what's nice about this is that you don't have to open new tabs or anything like that um, you literally just grab whatever it produces um, and you can utilize it if you want to. You can ask for examples. You can say, write me five different headlines, 10 different headlines um, or whatever it is. Um, and then you can utilize that. It's just a right now we, we, we have it as a board uh, implemented um, just to make the, the prompts and the searches to get quick info. But if you really wanted, um, you would be able to have it, you know, within your you know client accounts, within their boards, as an example. So let's just say like this random uh, client here. Um, you know, they have their own board with their own intricacies and their own due dates and their own, et cetera. Right. So, you know, applying chat GPT into here. So that like all their SMSs or engagement sequences or nurture sequences get written or all the emails associated with their account um, or the ad angles or whatever, we can bake that into here now such that it actually gets completed automatically just by one status change. So I can create an automation in here that says when uh, a status changes, Right, so when this status here um, changes to send to chat GPT, right, then I can change the status of all the other ones. Then I can set the status of all the other um, uh, all the other items here. Like once I change this status to send chat GPT, I can I can have all of these statuses also send to chat GPT all at once and do like a bulk board. So this can be like my bulk board that I use. Uh, I would just have to set up a couple automations in the back end on the board within Monday, but then um, I can bulk send like 10, 20, 40 prompts at a time um, to ChatGPT within my project management software. It spits back within three to four seconds. I have my answer. I go paste, grab that, you know, cop, control C, copy it, you know, go to Slack, paste it, et cetera, wherever I need to paste it, um, you know, and use it, right? So it's just more of a better use case than just, you know, going back and forth from chat GBT to your project tool, to your Slack here or whatever. Um, I can even have this prompt once it's deployed here, I can have it send over to someone specific in Slack if I want to. 
Um, it's very useful, and I, we're really excited to see how we're going to utilize AI uh, a little bit more within our you know campaigns and whatnot, and you know with with helping our clients. Um, specifically, how to set it up, it's relatively easy. So you're going to go over to Zapier, like you see here. You're going to create a Zap similar to this. Okay. Now you can make your own version of this. It doesn't have to be exact. We're just playing around with this. I'm just going to show you an exact, uh, easy way to go about it. So we use money.com. So we're going to go in here, create a zap. First step of the zap is going to be to, um, specific column value changed in board, uh, for Monday. So we choose Monday, the app, then we choose the event, which is the trigger. So this is the trigger that has to happen in order for this string of automation to continue in this case. We're making the trigger this status change. Okay. So once this trigger happens and I, and I write the thing I want and then click the status change, that's when the API is going to work. The trigger is going to work. Cause I click, I, I checked this as the item specific column value changed in board is the one I want. Continue, continue the board. I want to connect this with is this board here. So I named this board chat GPT Dali. So, um, and, and the column that I want to, you know, look at in terms of, you know, the triggering off of is the status column, right? So as you can see our status column. So yeah, so I map those things there, continue. If I can test it and pull in some data, if I want, in which case you'd want to type out, you know, some test data, um, and then pull it into here as a test, you can click continue. Once you tested it, the next step will be to send a prompt via open AI. Um, and then you click, uh, continue. Um, select open AI, continue uh, DaVinci 003 is the model you're going to want. It's just a better model, uh, has more improvements than, than 002. Um, it's more direct language. Uh, it's just better. Um, and then the prompt, you're going to literally just pull in the, um, the actual pulse name, which is from the previous step. Um, you're going to grab this, uh, it, you want, like you're basically going to grab that particular, uh, pulse, uh, input. And so it'll just be here. It'll literally, you just click into here and you can say, show all options. It'll show you all the monday.com information that you can pull in as the prompt to chat GPT. The one you're going to want to pull in as a prompt is the one is this here is the item name is what we've been using. They call it pulse name. So I pull the event pulse name, boom, uh, which is essentially just the item name. Uh, and then that will be pulled in from the previous step. Um, we want temperature 0 0.7 maximum length, 256 top P we want one frequency penalty, zero uh, presence penalty, zero click continue. And then you, you're, you can test the action if you want, um, or you can just click continue. It should be set up correctly if you follow this video. Um, and then last but not least, we want to, we want to now, now that we're triggering when to acquire the information, sending, you know, to the maker of the information, wh what we want. And then when we receive that information from the maker, we then want to send it over back to our instance so we can view it. Right? So it's like trigger create and then send back for view viewership. Right? Okay. So monday.com is the next step. Um, create update is the, is the action you want, the event you want. Uh, and then you literally pull in the item ID from the previous step. So here's the item ID. You just pull that in. Uh, and then the body, you just want to pull the body from not the Monday step, but rather the AI step and you just pull in, it will literally show body down here. Okay. Choices text is the field. You click that, pull in the choices text, continue. You can test it. And just like I showed you, we're going to test it again. Uh, give me a list of the top 10 cars by revenue generated in 2022. Let's see which cars were sold the most in 2022. Um, we're literally going to wait a couple seconds. Oh, we didn't even send it yet. So send to chat GPT. You want to check the status. Once that's there, um, within two to three seconds, you just literally open back up your item just like this. And here is the list. Okay. Number one sold car, Tesla Model 3, second sold car, Honda Civic, Toyota Corolla, Honda, etc. Right? So you see how you can leverage information at any point in any glance um, and do the exact same thing for DALI. So DALI is another tool. Um, all I would do to create the, to make this a DALI prompt is change it from um, 
prompt, send prompt to generate image. And now instead I can use this for creative stuff. So I could say, for example, you know, create me an image of a unicorn that loves eating pancakes with his friends. Okay. As an example, and I could send that. I could have a status here that says send to Dal E. Okay. And if I click that, then I'm, I would just create the exact same automation you saw here, except the step wouldn't be send prompt. It would be generate image. And I would have a separate uh, zap created for that. And then that will produce me the image over here. Right now, it's producing me this, uh, this random image here. So if I click on it, um, it produced me nothing. Okay. Because it's just not created correctly. Um, whereas if I recreate, if I literally just go like this, I'm just going to do this on the live video. There's no, no point in me not doing it right now. So I'm literally just going to go like this. Uh, we're just going to publish this zap here. Hold on one second. Let's do this right now. We test action. Perfect. Okay. We're going to publish. What's the issue? Yeah. Okay. We're good. All right. So we're going to go back. Then we're going to grab this exact, exact zap by going back. Let's find it. Chat. We have tons of zaps. Here she is. And then we're going to grab it. We're going to duplicate it. Okay. Now we're going to call this one instead of chat GBT automation. We're going to call it something else, which is going to be Dally automation with monday.com. So essentially we want the same board, the same status column. Um, we're going to pull that in there. And we want that status chain. Once that status changes, um, great. Then we are going to pull that information over and we're going to generate an image this time. And we are going to pull the same prompt and keep the size the same. The end, we're going to keep at one and simply test the action. You don't look, we're not going to look at it right now. We're going to give it a new prompt in a minute, but we're going to test the action. It takes longer with Dali than it does with ChatGPT. So we click continue, create update. Okay. And instead of choice of text, we're going to swap that to what they produce, which is the actual data URL. And that'll be the link to the image. Okay. Continue test action. Now watch, we're going to publish simply very easily. And now we have our Dali automation set up. We're going to come back here and we're going to do the same thing. We're going to say, okay, uh, I wanted that same. Actually, you know what? Let's go let's give, create me an image of a rhino eating ice cream. Um, while, uh, riding a surf board send to Dally. We're going to wait a minute. Let's make sure that's on. Yeah, that was on. So we're going to wait like five seconds, five, four, three, two, one, open the task and bang. Here's our image guys. How's that for a rhino eating ice cream while riding a surfboard? I don't see the ice cream. But yeah, this was an AI generated photo, guys. Let's try right from monday.com. So I'll say again, let's just say I'm trying to run an ad right now for a plumber, right? And I'm, you know, trying to generate some leads for a plumber. I can come to my ChatGPT Dali board and say, generate me an image of a plumber doing fantastic work. Send to Dali. Wait five seconds. 
no designer, you know, it, like, listen, the image could either come out good or, or bad, but we got to send it to the AI, see what they produce and bang. So this is what they produced for a plumber doing a great job. Interesting. Okay. So now you guys get the idea. I can pull in images. I can pull in prompts. I can pull in text. I can pull, I can get anything I want done. I can have AI, um, directly do things for me um you can set this up however you want um you know my uh my marketing director came up with a great idea in one of our service dashboards for for design purposes um he came up with the idea of uh you know adding uh, like embedding chat gbt in here so that when we assign tasks to people um you know for example to our designer we can just open sub items and then have a chat gbt text producer right below the design delegation so we're just, we're asking her to design three to five images but we're like producing the headlines for her via chat gpt sub item so that's another way to go about it there's so many ways to customize this just use it to your advantage guys because uh, ai is the, you know the it's, it's taken over the world and uh we're happy to be uh you know on top of the game when it comes to you know the new uh new things in the market and uh you know i think this is genuinely the future it's only going to get better and better um these tools um so yeah if you're you know, I would start playing around with this stuff, um, utilizing it to your advantage. You know, how can you save more time? Um, how can you get more things done? Uh, think along those lines and then, yeah, integrate it with your project management tool and you'd be able to, um, make any prompt or generate any image you want, um, for the time being. So thanks for watching, like, and subscribe, um, leave a comment below with any questions you have. And, uh, you guys have a, uh, a really good day. Uh, make sure you guys have a great day, great week, great life. And uh, yeah, let's make some money. So I'll talk to you guys soon. Cheers.